What is up everybody, this is Subasai and welcome back to another video of Heyday. Now in this video I am going to be revealing uh, my new idea, Heyday idea, and it's going to be called Invisible Mode. Right, so throughout this video I am going to, uh, as usual, get everything back in action, but I'm also going to explain my idea of Invisible Mode, what it means. <gasps> No! No, 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 that's not right. What can we sell? Oh, this is painful. Uh, bacon, get rid of the bacon. Okay, I'm gonna miss it, but I'll try anyway. Oh, I got, I got one, I got one, I got one. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Uh, right, uh, let's see what else we can get rid of. What do we need? What something? Violet dress, violet dress. Let's go, let's go. Back to the... And tap, 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 tap. No! All right, I'm getting some good stuff. I'm getting good stuff. Right, right, right. Okay, what else can we... Uh, what else? I'm just... Okay, get rid of the bricks. I want bricks, but I, I'd rather buy stuff that they're selling. This is crazy. Okay, this is a, just like a crazy as start to the video. It's so annoying. Full as usual. Uh, what can we get? What can we get? Okay, that's... Whoa, well, I got I got 10 and 10. Right, so I am happy with that. It's a real shame that I didn't get tape, but I am... I'm happy with that. Like, wow, what what a start to the video. That's just it's ah, oh, there's there's one tape. Okay, just yeah, okay. That no it's okay. Right, okay, so let's see what we got. Right, uh upgrade, right, so five more bolts for that and upgrade four more panels. Okay, so we're close, but not close enough. Right, okay, so that was very good getting that. Uh anyway, that was a crazy start. Uh but as as you know, that's kinda just how I start my videos, just straight out like that. I get straight into buying stuff and then it just automatically just immediately turns and do my barn is full I need to sell stuff and I end up selling stuff that I'd rather not have sold like bricks and like paint buckets anyway now they're sold and I did I'll just check back to see if they do put something else uh, they're probably not going to right but it'll be awesome when I can finally upgrade uh, my barn or my silo right okay so let's see how we're going right so we got over here okay let's put that on and these here let's pancakes uh, okay pancakes going on like so Right, and then, once this farm is, whoa, wrong one, uh, wait, uh, and we can get, get rid of some of them anyway. Once this farm is back in action, then we can start talking about the new mode, which I am suggesting, called Invisible Mode. Right, okay, so tapping that, oh, another duct tape, awesome, right, so we'll do that, uh, and then we can, right, so I'm just seeing, uh, everything, awesome, that's still going, uh, we can get some carrot juice going in there, awesome, uh, okay, that's pretty good, and then, uh, tap here, right, okay, so, I'm just thinking, okay, so we don't need tin wool, that will free up some space, and then we'll go check out the, uh, visitors and see what they want. Right, so what is, uh, what bargains have we here? Right, so that's bargain, 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 and bargain, awesome, right, okay, going across and across again, uh, no bargains, so, oh, yes, that's bargain, uh, okay, that's sold anyway, uh, right, uh, oh, yes, raspberries, gone, right, okay, oh, and so we can help, where can we help, right there, 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 and there, and, oh, tap that, uh, right, okay, I try not move my screen too quickly, uh, because otherwise it, it, it doesn't look, uh, great. oh, wow, wozers, there we go, that's what I'm talking about, and boom, right, so that's, that's a nice lot of helping I did right there, okay, uh, soybeans, I'll get some of them in case, uh, just check how many we got, right, how many do we have, okay, that 43 is reasonable, right, okay, let's harvest all this, this will give me some XP and some coins when I sell them, right, so as you can see, my coins are steady on 600, uh, just over 600,000, which I'm happy with, right, okay, so let's plant some corn, uh, right, so that's not gonna be enough, but that will just keep most of them in action for the next wee bit, uh, right, okay, so, oh yeah, that's right, town, okay, Gene, the town, uh, I think I'm like, yeah, I'm a bit full, okay, we got a couple of visitors there and there, right, so there we go, uh, okay, sweet, grocery store, uh, okay, we can do you, and then over here, right, I was gonna use that cheese for the spicy pizza, uh, anyway, uh, that's how it goes, right, uh, cine space, no, that's full, okay, cinema, right, so cinema, cinema, uh, you can go to the cinema, right, okay, there we go, oh, wait, wrong one, right here, yes, okay, uh, right, and then we need one of those, uh, and, okay, right, okay, that's reasonable, uh, and then, uh, off it goes, and we will exchange two of these things, uh, okay, what are we gonna get, oh, no, not that one, uh, we're gonna get rid of two of these to, wait, no, this is, this can use, uh, pick up three now, so we'll get rid of three of them, uh, right, so one, uh, wait, so send away, and then this one here, right, double send away, and who else, 
Uh, can we send away uh, this player here? Right, send away. Okay, uh, and then, oh yes, chess. Awesome. Uh, three duct tape in a row. Mmm, that's cool. Uh, right, okay, uh, three iron bars. Wait, do we have iron bars ready? I'll just check if they have, because I thought I put some iron bars on for that. Uh, yes, we do. Awesome. Okay, that will get me some new space, some free space. Uh, I wish that I had used, upgraded this before that I started the video. That would have got me 15 space. Uh, anyway, the next one, well, we're going to need a lot of stuff from here. Uh, right, anyway, now we can get four, so we can send off another person. Right, who's going to be uh, Scarlet? Okay, right, okay, let's go pick up four. Oh, right, wrong one. Uh, right, your neighbors don't, That that's not right. Your neighborhood friends don't have any visitors to pick up now. That, right, okay, I'm leaving this neighborhood, uh, maybe soon, but I, I definitely, I need players to pick up friends from, anyway, uh, that's just how it went, uh, oh, yes, yes, there we go, another duct tape, okay, I'm really, uh, I'm really getting a few duct tape, uh, okay, we don't want maps, uh, right, uh, what else, uh, bargains, uh, bargains, looking for bargains, not seeing bargains, uh, okay, right, so go home, uh, let's see Greg, right, so we got 20 friend requests now, we're starting to get up there, that's kind of cool, uh, right, uh, I'm just seeing, uh, okay, uh, I will, uh, there's someone that uh, sent me a friend request, uh, in the YouTube chat, so I will be sure to add them, awesome, right, so we buy those bargains, like so, uh, okay, right, so we want to get the cows going, uh, okay, let's get the cows going, and also let's get some cream producing, uh, right, so we have to do that all first, and then tap, 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 and then a couple more of them, and then let's get these going, awesome, and feed the cows, sweet, we are really getting this back in action, okay, so that is good, that is good, and one of those, awesome, uh, right, and then... Uh, okay, we can get one of those going. Right, one of those going, and so that's pretty good. Uh, do we have... Oh, right, so we need some more wheat as well, and we're going to have to free up some more space. Right, okay, so five of them uh, can go off for sale, and then we can get six of these, some goat cheese, uh, and we can go four uh, roasted tomatoes, right? Okay, so we're slowly selling stuff off to make more room, which is awesome. Okay, so that, that, and that, uh, and then ice creams can also go, uh, and that will that will free me up some decent space. Uh, right, and then we're going to do the Wheel of Awesome. That's right, it's the best time. One of the best times during the video, the Wheel of Awesome. So here we go, we're going to spin it and see what we get. Right, what's it going to be? Is it go? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I, uh, nice to get the next one across, but I'm happy with that because one of the uh, visitors is requesting that. Right, so that was awesome. I love getting free stuff. It's cool. Okay, right, so tap here. There we go. Uh, right, so that, uh, so we just have three that need uh, stuff, right? And sadly, I don't have anyone to pick neighbor uh, members up from. Uh, anyway, never mind. Uh, I'll have to join a neighborhood that has lots of members so I can get uh, pick up people. Right, okay, what have we got in here? Uh, no, oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, whoa, okay, no, or not. Okay, uh, right. And so, let's go. Uh, oh, yeah, that's bargain. Uh, okay, sold also. Uh, right, seeing what's left. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go home and ignore that I even looked at that daily dirt. Uh, anyway, right, so we'll come over here, and we'll go tap. Oh, yeah, that's right, we need wheat. Wheat, okay, we're looking for wheat. Uh, some cheap wheat. Uh, that is not cheap wheat. Right, okay, uh, let's see what we can find. Uh, one coin wheat, awesome, or three coin, two coin, either way, that works for me. Uh, and then we'll come over here, and we'll go tap, 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 and tap. Right, okay, I forgot I had that extra slot, uh, right, and then this here, okay, so we'll just wait 20 minutes till we get that going, right, okay, and then how many of these have we got, so three more brown sugars, and white sugars four, uh, okay, so we'll do a couple of them, and then a few of them, right, keeping that balanced, uh, awesome, okay, we have the goats that need harvesting, uh, which we'll get some goat milk from, which is cool, okay, so we'll do them, right, now we have the pigs, okay, so a uh, few pigs to do, right, so we'll sell off, we'll do a 10 bacon sell off, Right, uh, and then that, like so. Okay, oh, though this is ready. The corn is ready. Sweet. Okay, that gets me an awesome dynamite. Okay, right, so we'll fill this up, and then we'll have to sell off some strawberries as well. Right, so selling that off, uh, I mean... Planting that. Right, okay, coming down here. Oh, and also we should probably advertise something. Uh, that's popular, so we'll put that one on. Uh, what have we got? A boat thing. People don't generally less likely fill, so we'll ask for help. There we go. 
that should get uh, people coming in. Right, okay, so let's sell off the strawberries first and foremost. Uh, right, that will get me some coins. Up it goes, the coins. I love looking at the coins when I tap lots of things. It's like, it's cool. Uh, right, okay, so sell off some of these and then sell off some corn and sell off some more barn items. Right, okay, so selling these off, uh, getting down to about 60 is about the, the right amount. Okay, so 69 is a good amount to have. Uh, providing it's above 60, it's sweet. Okay, so, right, oh, someone's buying these. Awesome. Right, okay. So we'll put these, uh, the corn, because we don't need corn at the moment. Uh, right, and then we'll check this. What do we, uh, there we go, the 10 bacon. We can sell that off. Okay, that will free me up some space. And uh, 10 syrup. Okay, we don't need 10 syrup. Uh, right, okay, so syrup, and then also we don't need the 10 cherry juice either, I mean the three cherry juice, uh, or the three bacon pies, or the uh, three uh, of the, that's right, carrot juice. Right, so we're putting this on like so. Uh, right, so freeing up lots and lots of space. Uh, so I'll have lots and lots of stuff that I can buy when I come in here looking for bargains. Wait, we, okay, we, okay, we missed that anyway. We didn't really need that, uh, but that was anyway. Right, okay, so nothing good in there. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so let's get some of these pigs fed. Right, okay, so like so. There we go. We're feeding them, and that will uh, be good to get the animals going again. Uh, right, uh, one more in there, like so. Awesome. Okay, let's get some chicken feed going. Like, there we go, and... And there, there we go. Awesome. Uh, right, so that's a lot of chicken feed that will... Uh, let's, let's just... Wait, how much cow stuff? Uh, oh, yeah. Ooh, no, we better do a cow of each. Right, awesome. Okay, that is good. And that corn is now at zero. Uh, and let's see what of these are going. Right, so that's the one not going, but that's fine. Uh, this one here, right, and so we need that first. Oh, yes, we can get these smelters going again. So we need coal and iron, right, so there we go, and there we go, right, okay, let's come over here, and we'll do a dynamite, and then uh, go like that, and then do that, and just get some dynamite, awesome, uh, use these up, get some ore, I don't really want the gold ore, I've got plenty of gold, uh, there we go, I want those, I want those too, because that's what I'm going to need, uh, especially for the next... Uh, the next upgrade uh, for my train. Right, okay, so doing this, and then one more ought to do it, okay, and then we'll see how much that will fill. Okay, so coming back to my smelters, uh, that one can go coal, that one can go, uh, right, that can go there, uh, and then we should, we might as well go for the TNT, uh, right, oh yes, that's a good one. Okay, so tap back here, and then we'll put on the coal. Right, uh, and we can, next one we'll do iron bar, because if we come back here, we can see what the uh, train needs. Right, so if we click upgrade, uh, upgrade, right, so we have the silver bar, we, we mainly need iron bars, I should have actually put that final one as an iron bar, because iron bar is what, iron bars are what I need to upgrade the personal train, but I'm still happy with the, uh, I like how it's going, it's going good. Uh, and so that is sweet, let's return and see what, see if the market is refreshed so we can go into it and buy some bargains. Right, yes it has, okay, so going along, going along and seeing what bargains there are. Uh, right, uh, oh yes, that's a bargain in there, okay, sold, and over here there's a bargain right there, awesome, let's return home. Right, okay, so there we go, we have those two cows in there, three cows, actually. So that's going, and then these are producing, uh, that is also going, uh, right, uh, an egg, or to get that going, awesome, and then we'll go, no, sorry, no, sorry, and then come up here, no, 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 and no, uh, and then... We go down to here, and then we're going to start talking about invisible mode. Right, my new suggestion, uh, which I, I quite like. Well, that's why I'm... Well, I, I do and I don't like it. Uh, there's a reason... There's a couple of reasons why I'm suggesting it, and I'll let you know why uh, while I talk about it uh, in a second. Right, so put them up and that, and then tap here. Uh, right, okay, and then we'll go like so. Awesome. Let's return and... Almost everything's in action right now. The chickens are out and the cake oven is out. But except for that, we're going pretty good. Right, and that hasn't refreshed either. Okay, this is looking awesome. Right, okay, so let's start talking about my all new uh, suggest... Wait, wait, let's wait for the corn, actually. Uh, we'll just wait and we'll harvest that and sell that off. Then we'll get into it. Okay, so waiting for it. 20 more seconds. Right, okay, so it's still... Uh, right, uh, we can harvest... We can get some of those uh, blackberries... Uh, right, okay, uh, oh, it's that way, that's why, uh, what else, uh, is there, okay, most of the crops, 
Uh, and, and then we have all these coming ready soon, uh, these things here. Uh, okay, I was meant to tap the other one anyway, that's good. Uh, right, and then we will have uh, this one here, this should be cut, yep, that can be cut down. Okay, and then we'll harvest the corn, awesome, like so. Okay, so harvest the corn, whoa, that's a, that's a lot of corn. Right, 60 corn right there, well actually no, that doubles, so it's actually 120 corn uh, right there. Okay, and then we'll sell this. Awesome, and then that is gonna look great. Okay, and then we'll advertise this corn because we don't really want corn And that will free me up lots of space uh, and I have 10 so 10 is a reasonable amount of space at least you need at least 10 uh, For the for the barn because that 10 is that golden amount as you saw at the start of the video I was like no because I didn't have 10 space, uh, but now I know that I need that 10 space uh, So you always want to try and keep that 10 space Awesome, and then over here, uh, all chicken feed, awesome, yay, we bought that, uh, what else can we buy, anything else of benefit, and no, right, so we'll feed some chickens, and then the, that one's ready, okay, and so that's 10 of them, 10 of the chickens in action, okay, and, and, oh wow, wow, there's going to be 13 of them in action, okay, that is good, that is really good, okay, now for invisible mode. Now, the reason why I'm suggesting this, and actually, to be completely honest, this is a feature that I wouldn't use. But the, the, the main idea of this invisible mode is that, for example, what I hear a lot of people saying in the uh, Supercell forms, uh, which like heyday forms and that, uh, and I, I hear a lot of people saying that they have a real issue with uh, people coming into their shops, like uh, bots or humans, and buying up their stuff when they didn't want it to be sold. Let's say, for example, they want to sell it to one of their uh, neighborhood members, and they're like, okay, let's do the, uh, let, let's, uh, I'll, I'll give you 10 planks for 10 bolts or whatever. And they put their 10 planks in, and then someone comes whizzing in, and they, some, a, a person that's either following them, or a person that's on their uh, helpers list, that they went and helped and then tapped uh, and, and then buy the, the planks or whatever and, the, and they didn't want to sell it to, the, they wanted to sell it to the person in the neighborhood. Now that's, uh, they say that's a problem and so now uh, players are saying that they don't want to help out other players, uh, they don't want to help them with their boats or revives because then they'll end up on helper lists so more and more people have the option to come into their stool and also if they have lots of followers, followers are also likely to come into your stool as well and buy stuff. Now, uh, for there are the problem is that players are buying stuff that they don't want it to. Uh, that like someone's trying to sell something, and then someone else to another player, but then someone else, random person, will come in and buy it. And they don't like that, because then that person they're trying to sell it to or trade with doesn't get it, and then it's just a really annoying for both players, because if it screws up the trade, or otherwise that person just didn't get uh, what they were meant to get. Uh, and so there are a couple of ways around this, so I'm just going to uh, I'm gonna first suggest obvious solutions to it, and then I'm going to suggest uh, the invisible mode. Uh, right, so first of all, an obvious solution, well, no, it's not obvious, it's just a solution I'm saying for players players that have that problem. One pro, uh, because for example, uh, okay, so you go to sell some stuff, right? What you do is before you put those planks in, you, uh, you tell the player that, uh, in your neighborhood to come to your stall, right? So the person comes to the stall, right? So they're at your stall. You're going to give them 10 planks. Now, what you do is you, uh, they not only, uh, you, you ask them, are you at my stall? And they will respond when they are, yes, I am at your stall. Then what you do is you, you either place a wheat in one of your slots, right? So you place a wheat, uh, like so, I'll show you, right? So you come here and you go like this, and, uh, right, so you put a wheat in there like that, and then you go, uh, put on sale, uh, right? So I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I, I don't really want to take up slot doing this. Anyway, you tap, uh, you tap that, like, so, uh, you, you, for example, say, I'm gonna sell you 10 planks for your 10 bolts, right? So you say, I've put the wheat in one of the slots, right? So they will tap and buy that wheat, right? So they'll tap and buy that wheat, and and so you know and they know that is going to be the slot in which you place your item to sell to them, right? Because, for example, with me, it, it's not too hard. But with someone that some players have, like, literally, like, a hundred slots and, and, and you don't know where to be looking because especially if they have tons of followers or that, um, people are constantly going and you can easily miss it. 
but you place a, a, a single wheat or 10 wheat or whatever, and you say, tap on this, on, on this wheat, right? So they'll tap on it and buy it. And so then, uh, and then let's assume it's the second slot, and then you collect the coins, and then you say, you, you, then you can put it in, and they know what slot you're going to be selling it in, and so they'll be ready. Uh, sometimes you can be, uh, they can be uh, repetitively tapping on that slot, uh, because they know that it's that slot that you sold the wheat in, uh, and so they'll keep tapping on it, and then as soon as you put it in, they'll get it. But even if they know which slot it is, and they have said you're at the, they've bought the wheat in that slot, they know what slot it is, they know you're about to put them in, you put them in, and as long as they've got their eye on that slot, they are like absolutely just about guaranteed to buy, to make sure they get the planks. But what some players do is they say, oh yeah, do you want to buy some, uh, I've got some, like they might even say like, oh, uh, I've got planks for someone that wants them in the neighborhood, and then they come but they've been sold, or they might say, okay, let's trade planks for bolts, and, and the person's like, okay, yeah, let's trade them, and so then the person's like, okay, I've put them in. You know, and then the person, the other person that came to, to buy them and trade them comes, but they've already been sold. You need to make sure that both of you are there at the same time in order for the trade to work. So uh, you do that by placing a weed or something uh, or, or saying, let's do it in the very first slot. Uh, and so they know exactly where, uh, then you don't have problems. But since obviously not everyone's going to watch this video, uh, there's going to be lots of players are still going to have the issue of people, uh, what they call sniping your stuff. So by coming in, a person that you didn't intend to sell the item to, buying the stuff, uh, and so then... Uh, then, then the person you're going to trade with or sell misses out. Right, so what my solution is, uh, is what I like to call invisible mode. Oh, right, panel, panel, right, awesome, got a panel. Awesome, 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 I love getting panels. Uh, right, that's sold. Uh, and so what I mean by invisible mode is a setting, right? So a setting you've got. And uh, let's just say under settings, and we go to advanced settings, it's like a little tick box, and, and uh, beside it, it says invisible mode, right? Now, if you check that tick box, it will mean that you will disappear on the list of, so like to all your followers, and all the people that you helped, and you're on the help bar, it will make you disappear, so none of them can access your farm from the friend list, uh, there's two options for this, either you, your, your name just will, will vanish off the list, uh, or it will just be highlighted in red, which means if they tap on it, they just cannot visit your farm, it just says, this player has invisible mode active, so it means that all of your followers, uh, and all of the people on your last helper list, like for example, there's a few, uh, but that, for example, if you've helped tons of people, you'd be first on, or, or on the list of heaps of people's helper list, and it means that none of them will be able to visit you, so either your name disappears off the list, or your box is surrounded by red, and so this means that then you're essentially uh, invisible because they can't come and snipe it. And also, if you have any advertised products uh, when you turn on the invisible mode, it means that no, as soon as that advert is finished, uh, it means, or, or it's either, there's two options. Uh, this is like just an idea, remember. Either when your advert is finished, uh, the timing, and if it doesn't sell, it, it just means that no, it doesn't get advertised in anyone else's slot, or uh, the ad in the newspaper, no one can tap on it, They're, like, it just says, this player has invisible mode activated, uh, I think that would be annoying, because then players would go and buy something, and then they'd just see that thing pop up, uh, so I would recommend that as soon as, so, uh, as soon as the ad had vanished, it had been, uh, the time had run out, and then it was used to refresh in other people's magazines, your name wouldn't appear in any of them, even if you had a product advertised and so in essence the only people that would be able to visit you are your friends and the people in your neighborhood and they're the mo people you're most likely to trade with now with your friends the max amount like for example let's say you're doing it with a neighborhood member the max amount that could possibly be on would be 150 right because there's 150 friends now most of you may not even have 150 friends and those are, and those of you who do or and then of the 150 or however many friends you have most of them won't even be on Online. And so generally, if you have a friend that keeps uh, sniping stuff off you, probably I wouldn't be friends with them if, if that annoys you. Uh, so what I would, re uh, I'd, so then what happens is the only people, when you turn on invisible mode, it means that then the only people that can actually come and buy your stuff, uh, so your, your followers can't, uh, all the people you've helped can't, so you don't have to worry about helping people uh, because it, it, it won't affect, and, and you don't have to worry about your uh, followers, you don't have to delete them. 
uh, and worry about them coming on because it's in visible mode. So you're only available uh, to be visited uh, by. So I think probably the better idea would be that you, you are, your thing, rather than surrounded by a yellow or blue box, is surrounded by a red box rather than disappearing because otherwise people would think maybe you've blocked them or it, it wouldn't, you know, they, they think, oh, why, why is it not appearing? So if you're surrounded by a red uh, box, it just means that you can't be visited at that moment uh, because you've got it on. Now, I might, maybe uh, it would be better to have a, uh, time, a timer, I'm just thinking maybe a time limit on it, so you could only do it, for example, an hour a day, like, because you're only trading for an hour a day, but maybe it's best that there's just no time limit, and you can just constantly have it on, and then people following you would just probably end up defollowing you if you always had it on, uh, but now, the, and, and so that is basically the idea of invisible mode, uh, just to, so to sum up, it's a little feature under advanced settings that you can turn on just like, uh, enabling or disabling neighborhood chat or do Derby, uh, participating or not participating, if you do the tick mark, it means that only the people in your current neighborhood can visit uh, your stall, and only people that are friends with you can visit your stall, uh, and so then uh, it virtually cuts out all the other people from, like, if you've got something... Uh, and like if it, yeah, it just means that like people that have like you've helped can't visit you, your followers can't visit you, no one else can visit you, but the people in your neighborhood and friends. So that would mean that then you're not going to get a ton of you're not going to get anyone sniping. Sure, another another member of the dirt, uh, of the neighborhood might snipe, but then you can just kick them out. Or for example, a friend may snipe, but you might want to be trading with a friend anyway. You might be texting them to organize the trade uh, or messaging them or whatever. Uh, and so that is the idea. Idea uh, behind uh, it, so it's invisible mode. Now, this now you might be asking, well, why am I suggesting it? And uh, that is a good question because, uh, to be fully honest with you, I would probably never use it. Like I, I possibly, I just the chance that I probably just wouldn't use it full stop because to me, I, 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 I love people. Kind of, I don't, I don't even s sell off anything really valuable unless it's a trade, and I do that trade policy which I mentioned at the start with the wheat so no one ends up ever sniping me, uh, so then there's no need for me to ever use it, but that's with me, and so uh, with uh, I want I want as many people as possible always visiting my store, always buying up my stuff if possible, uh, That that's the ideal for me, that's why I would probably never use it, but there are two reasons why, I want to. Uh, I I think it would be. I don't often suggest stuff, but I am going to do a couple of suggestion. Uh, I will in the future do some more su suggestion videos uh, because of different things, ideas that I have. Uh, I'm not saying in any way, shape, or form that they'll be implemented. Uh, I, it's just ideas. I think it would be nice if they were implemented, uh, but they, they probably won't be. Uh, but I, I thought I'd just put the ideas out there as suggestions. Uh, I haven't really suggested anything before except the idea of my bot. Uh, it wasn't mine, but it was a bot idea suggestion that I liked, so I, so I, uh, I, I said this is one of the ideas. Uh, but uh, the, the two reasons, the two main reasons why I'm doing uh, this video uh, on advertising it and saying why I like this uh, idea idea and why I think it would be good is number one because I the last that well there's there's two main reasons but one of the reasons is I don't want Supercell deleting this last helpers bar now I'm not saying they would they, they may not ever do it which is fine and which is awesome but I don't want uh, I don't want lots of you guys saying uh, like uh, like getting annoyed about this issue with people sniping and so they end up deleting the last helpers bar because with me and quite a few other players our we want as many people to be able to buy off us at any time, uh, as many people as possible to be able to do that, and we also want to be able to visit as many people as possible, because the more contacts, the more sales uh, you do, and the more buy things you can buy, for example, there's like another 10 people on this, so this is like, I'm not sure if it's exactly 10, I think it's 10, uh, but you, for example, I, I often go and visit these players on the list in order to see if they're selling anything, and sometimes I just happen to get bargains from going there, and so uh, the more people, the better. And so I don't want to see, uh, lots of people would not want to see that list of last helpers gone because it's uh, it's like potential people you can go see and all the people you helped are potential buyers. And so you want as, me as much traffic coming through your, uh, like uh, as many players as possible coming through your roadside store because it, it benefits you uh, and the fact that people will buy stuff more likely. 
So uh, I I really would not want to see that last Selbers bar go, and like another lots of other people wouldn't either. But the the other reason uh, that I, I I'm doing this video is because I know lots of you, the viewer, you, the subscriber, you, the people watching this video right now have said that you are getting annoyed with a sniping problem. And so there's basically there's a couple of solutions. There's the one I suggested with that would help you personally get over the issue. And so it's just making sure. 100% that they're at your stall, make sure you know which slot you're going to do it in, and do it by placing a wheat, making them buy the wheat, then doing it in that slot where you just sold the wheat, uh, and so then no one else can snipe it, uh, but I, I don't want, uh, I want something that's going to help you guys, uh, and, and, and you have a better time playing Heyday, and by having an invisible mode, it means that then you can ha happily trade, uh, there's no rush, you can put stuff in your roadside shop if you only want your friends or your neighborhood members to buy it and just put stuff in there, turn on invisible mode and then you don't have to worry about your followers all coming in, you don't have to worry about the um, but, but uh, or, or any just strangers coming in, but you, you have to note that if you use it on a regular basis, if there's no time limit and you're constantly using it, then you, you, but you're not going to end up with many followers but obviously so, lots of you guys don't want followers, I love followers because it means that they buy my stuff and I couldn't think of anything better than people constantly buy my stuff it's great uh, but I understand that lots of you uh, don't want to often to have like lots of uh, players coming to your store you just want to sell off a few things to a few certain players I totally get that and so that's why I'm making this video because I, I, I hope that this by the if, if this is uh, implemented if this is an idea that Supercell thinks actually that could work and decides to do it uh, this will help you guys this I literally I seriously I wouldn't use this hardly at all myself if at all, I might use it a couple of times, but I very rarely use it. But I know lots of you have that that problem and that issue, so I wanted to do ideas that you guys would like. Uh, I will do some uh, of my own, like, well, this is my own idea, but I just thought that uh, this one here is really helpful uh, to you guys. To me, it doesn't benefit me. In the future, I will do uh, videos uh, of ideas that uh, would benefit the, the the style of play that I do uh, since since I, I I do you know as you know I only play in a certain way uh, then I have very oh I missed that uh, then I have uh, little incentive to ever want players not to come to my stall but I understand lots of you have that issue and so I want something that's going to work for you and help you uh, ha have that problem resolved so you don't have to worry about snipers and so this is a suggestion that I thought that would help you guys a hundred percent want to know what you guys think of it in the comments because this is seriously a suggestion for you and so uh, you guys can then, uh, like I, I'm sure some of you viewing will have a very diverse uh, viewing uh, group so some of you will be like me and be like yep we don't need that, uh, that's not going to help us with our playing style but I'm sure some of you will be like watching this and think actually that would really really help me because then I don't have to worry about people sniping uh, all the time and so this year of course it's not going to help everyone but it's going to help a few people and it's not going to hurt anyone really like sure then some players i won't be able to visit uh which if i was following someone uh that i couldn't visit i'd unfollow them uh but and i don't know it might be slightly problematic and so uh supercell might not implement it because they want everyone to be able to visit everyone at any time uh but i i i don't really i i'd love i don't want this last helpers list although it's not many people it's 10 more people that you can visit and buy stuff off and it means and i since i help people regularly uh with the reviving things there's far more than probably far more than 10 people uh, on, on probably far more than 10 people's uh uh, last helpers list to come and tap on me and buy my stuff and since I'm often full up with stuff then I, I love people coming so yeah, I just thought I'd make this suggestion video. Uh, in the future, I'll make some more suggestion videos. Uh, but yeah, I I'd love to uh, hear what you think of this video. Because uh, this is seriously a video that wouldn't affect me, uh, really, uh, how I play at all. Uh, but it will certainly affect some of you in this, and the fact that it would probably uh, decrease the amount of people that could snipe off you. Because people, like, people that you don't want visiting your farm couldn't visit your farm. So yeah, I just, I really want to hear... Uh, 
positive, critical, uh, anything, any feedback whatsoever about what you guys think in the comments. Uh, I'll be sure to respond to uh, plenty of your comments about what you think of it, and I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, so that yeah, this is going to be the uh, like basically uh, my second ever suggestion, uh, but it's my first ever personal one because I did the the bot suggestion, but which wasn't mine. But this one here, I've actually thought of myself. Uh, I've got I haven't got this idea of anyone I've thought of it, and uh, to me I'm like, hey, I thought of an idea. That's that's awesome. I thought of an idea. Uh, where some of you probably, yeah, I'm, I know you guys are full of ideas, uh, and so I'd love to hear other ideas in the comments, um, where I'm happy to hear any ideas whatsoever, uh, but this, uh, we could keep, I don't know, if we kept this ideas thing to more specifically, uh, to prevent sniping, but really, to be honest, if you really don't want to get sniped, you just have to follow that policy, which I said at the start, of just making sure that the person you're trading with is at your store, and just making sure that they know which slot you are, you're never going to get sniped if you do it properly, uh, but, uh, since... Since lots of people aren't going to watch this video, they'll continue uh, doing what they normally do and the fact that they just put it in and then say, oh, come and buy it now, but then it's too late or that, yeah. But I understand that it is a problem and it, it, it is annoying telling them to come and getting them to say, oh, I'm here in the chat and then putting the wheat, getting them to buy the wheat and then put the stuff in and in that time, yep, yeah, stuff does get sniped. I understand that is really annoying. Uh, if you're... 100% so annoyed at people doing that, uh, just be sure to use that policy, uh, but uh, for those of you that it doesn't bother you so much, I, I think that you'd be uh, welcome and open to a feature that allowed you to put on uh, invisible mode. You don't have to use it whatsoever, it's just an option for those of you who, uh, who, who want that protection from players coming in and buying their stuff uh, when they, they don't want to have to focus on all this detailed stuff they have to do for a simple trade or giving away some planks or whatnot. Uh, anyway, that is basically it for this suggestion video. Uh, I really do hope you enjoyed it. As I said before, leave lots of comments. I really want to hear your feedback on it. Uh, this is my first idea of many. I have many more, and I'm going to do them in future videos, many ideas. Uh, and so, yeah, I really, really do hope that this is like somewhat interesting or and might help some people that's the idea i want to help some people uh have a better experience playing heyday of course it's awesome already uh to play heyday but i just want to make it as awesome as it possibly can be and maybe that would make some players uh make playing heyday a little bit funner anyway thank you so much for watching this video i really do hope you enjoyed it uh please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please subscribe if you haven't already done so Thank you so much for watching. This has been Supersight, and remember to make coins faster than honeybees make honey.